Okay, we are now in the second part of our program. The date is July 1st, 2022. Three, two, one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good rotation of the earth. May the peace of the Holy Spirit be with you. If this is your very first time joining us, I give you a special welcome. We are now in the second half of our program. If you would like to listen to the first half of our program, please look to our videos and our website for part one of this program. Today's Judgment Liturgy is a guide. The Catholic Church and religions in general were established on them and built on them. Used regularly, providential liturgies are reminders that God never stops helping us with justice. A good judgment liturgy is like a promise that the providence of the Holy Spirit is inevitable and will surface noticeably when we are overwhelmed. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, whose judgment brings peace and justice to the nations. 
Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who knows all things, the God who sees all things, and the God who has reasoned all things. Blessed is our Holy Spirit who has no name, but who is known by many. The Providence of God, section A2. May the peace of the Holy Spirit be with you. A reading of Providence. The World Crown is an organizational solution and a new central government, endowed by its creator and blessed by the power of God's Holy Spirit, who makes manifest the destiny of all nations and peoples. The World Crown is an educational experience for both the religious and those who were not taught about the wisdom, the light, and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit in their lives. Here and throughout our network, you will learn about the judgment of God and why, why the providence of God has again made itself known to the world. If you are a good person from any country, there is nothing to fear. If you know nothing about God or the judgment of God, it is okay. You can learn with us. Judgment is a period of time when the earth and the people, the good souls of angels, require emergency care and attention. The judgment of the earth is the protection of God from all forms of evil and corruption. During the judgment, preference and understanding is shown to good people and children. The judgment of God is the protection of God and the reason why so many souls believe in God. During judgment, everything is judged, but not everything is saved. God cannot save evil, so evil could continue in conspiracy against you. During the judgment of God, one of the goals of the Holy Spirit is to set people straight about many things, especially matters of life, faith, business, and government, and all matters of importance. During the judgment, we try to warn people that no matter how intelligent, racist, atheist, or clever they think they are, they cannot continue in their conspiracies against children, women, and men. During the judgment, we write in many different ways to illustrate our point. It is my desire to keep you company during the judgment with bits of news and writing, also with tender words, honest words, hopeful words, and words of judgment a necessary part of the government and ministry of the world crown. The judgment of God proceeds from the world crown, which is blessed by the Holy Spirit, to teach, administer, and facilitate the judgment of God during the tribulation and advent of God, which continues afterwards. In the judgment of God, students can still go to school and study unless they are prohibited by powers which are being judged by God. During the judgment of God, economies which are important to everyday people must continue. During the judgment of God, churches, temples, and shrines still open unless they are prohibited by powers which are being judged by God. In the judgment of God, stores and markets must function and business must continue. A special prayer to my Holy Spirit to help those who are atheists to consider the miracles of the Holy Spirit and consider our words and the results of the judgment of God. For this reason, the world crown has surfaced to make the judgment of God official and public and to provide emergency leadership. Just, the justice of God is a critical form of support to our world from the Holy Spirit. For this verifiable and measurable justice, I offer thanks to the Holy Spirit on behalf of the good people of the planet. I offer everyone my prayers and personal assurances that the justice of God will see to it that every single conspiracy being waged against the good people of our planet comes to an end. Section 83, Bulletin and Intercessory Prayer. Mass media, political news, general information remain in a state of emergency. I pray and offer you your prayers to our Holy Spirit. I pray for the aged and, all, and for all those 
who are physically and psychologically sick. I pray for people and all families in every part of the world. I give thanks to the Holy Spirit who makes sure good health, food, and water are abundant on our earth. Blessed is our Holy Spirit who brings forth bread from the earth and every fruit from its vine and all things that are good to eat. Blessed is our God who has no name, but who is known by many. The Sovereignty of God, A4. The sovereignty of God is like a good father or mother who allows a young child just learning to walk risk the possibility of falling down. So too does God allow us to fall in life so we can learn to eventually walk on our own. The Authority of the World Crown, Section A5. No complaints have come in to oppose or contest the authority of the world crown. The religious thinking and the religious authority of the world crown manifests love for every nation, makes itself responsible for every nation, and brings justice to every nation. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, who loves and makes glad the people. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, who made the sea and the dry land who made the great animals which swim in its waters and who live on its soils, whose flowers incline to the sun, from whose trees and shrubs animals and humans take their food. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, who brings forth bread from the earth and every fruit from its vine and all things which are good to eat. Blessed is our God who has no name, but who is known by many. The Providence of God, Section A6. The Providence of God is upon our entire world. The Providence of God is a testament to the institution which God has been in our lives throughout history. Blessed are them who join with the Providence of the Holy Spirit. Such an endeavor is like a marriage in which our Holy Spirit will never leave us or divorce us, and who is a partner which we can count on for the whole of our lives, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. Blessed are they who seek our Holy Spirit with their whole heart, their whole mind, and all their strength, for to such their wisdom is like a great river which never dries up, or a tree which never withers. Section A6, Burpum Day. A reading from the book of Isaiah and the book of Revelations. Israel is now the world. Listen to me, O Jacob and Israel, whom I have called. I am he. I am the first and I am the last. My hands laid the foundation of the earth and spread out the heavens. When I call to them, they stand forth together in obedience to carry out my decrees. Revelation 1 8. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and was and is to come, the Almighty. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who knows all things, the God who sees all things, and the God who has reasoned all things. Blessed is our God who has no name, but who is known by many. Still in Verbum Day, Section AB. In our beginning was the Holy Spirit, who existed before us, and who has always existed. Since our creation, the Holy Spirit has been God, who without gender and without leaving heaven, 
became the first man and woman to walk with us, to teach us about matters of faith and religion, to live with us, to suffer with us, to die with us, and to be born again with us. Do not think it strange that man and woman are manifestations of the Holy Spirit. Your souls are also manifestations of the Holy Spirit, and you were made in the image of God, man and woman. A reading from the book of Genesis. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, created he him male, and female created he them. I bear witness to the providence of God, our Holy Spirit, who desires that no one fail, but that all should come to repentance. Every nation and religion bears witness to the effects and writings of the judgment of God. The judgment of God is, sci is a scientifically measurable event Governments, businesses, religions, social and organizational groups are expected to evaluate the effects of the judgment of God, read the writings, repent, and prepare themselves. Judicium, section A7. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The Lord standeth up to plead, and standeth to judge the people. The Lord will enter into the judgment with the ancients. New Armor Section A8. Today's writing is inspired by the book of Judges, chapter 1. Now, after the death of the, their king, it came to pass that the children of God asked the Lord, saying, Who shall judge the heretics and atheists if they rise up again? Who now shall fight against them for us? And the Holy Spirit said, Ye of little faith, have you not seen that without spilling blood I have delivered you from your enemies? Who can withstand a praying nation? I am quick to help the helpless and judge the oppressor. Make sure also to help each other and call upon me for how can a father or mother know if their children need help if they are not asked? A liturgical response, we will remember God's justice and not forget its memory. An edification. Thus says the Holy Spirit, Behold the people of the earth. They are a vast assembly. Their bodies are strong, and daily their strength blesses the earth. Behold the people of the earth, who work in their houses and toil on their lands, in their gardens, on the streets, and in businesses. In the temples and tabernacles, the churches and mosques, they pray and kneel before me. Behold the angels, as limitless as the stars, who wisely repent when they know they should repent, who wisely pray when they know they should pray. I, the Lord, can see all things and doth know all things. I know the thoughts and the reason of men and women. 
I know their comings and their goings, their risings and fallings. Behold the people of the earth who live the lives which God has given them. And when they are expended, they shall return to heaven, then be born again. Scales of Justice, Section A9. The judgment of God is like a good man who does business. He wakes up every morning and makes sure his heart and his mind are prepared and his scales are calibrated and ready to do business. As the tribulation continues, I pray and give thanks to our Holy Spirit for blessing our lives, our families, our markets, our water and food, and all things that are important which help to sustain our lives. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, who blesses the judgment of God with equity and fairness. Blessed is our God who has no name, but who is known by many. The Passover, section A10. The judgment of God is like a city which is blessed with sunshine, good water, good food, and happiness, and people who and people who do not perceive that others are being judged. Blessed are the good people who are passed over in the judgment of God and who do not look for the demise of others and leave judgment to God. For scripture says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Judicium Day, section A11. God will judge tyrants while people get married and are given in marriage. While women make food and tend to their families, terrorists will be judged. While men go about their daily affairs, terrorists will be judged. When the sounds of birds break the silence of a quiet lake, terrorists will be judged. In the early morning, as fish rise to the surface of the waters to feed, terrorists will be judged. While children play and go to school, and while people work in the marketplace, terrorists will be judged. While the seamstress makes her clothes and a cobbler his shoes, terrorists will be judged. As people gather inside their homes, temples, tabernacles, shrines, cathedrals, mosques, and churches to pray, fellowship, and worship, terrorists will be judged. While important businesses do business and people struggle to make ends meet, terrorists will be judged. As people meditate and pray in their homes and churches, terrorists will be judged. Terrorists are judged on calm and stormy days, when the ocean is peaceful and when it is not. The judgment of God are like unseen ways of justice, which bring peace to our earth. In the judgment of God, two men are working, one is taken and the other is left behind. This is how it has been since the beginning of time. When the time to judge the earth is at hand, there will be no sensation that anything is wrong. But terrorists will know and will feel the judgment of God, which brings justice to our world. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, who brings forth the wicked to be judged each in their own turn and allows the good people to live undisturbed. May your eyes be opened. Keep watch and pray. Make sure to work and live with the right mind and with right thoughts, never planning harm to anyone. Let your goodness shine and be ready and willing to help those in need. Advent, section 812. We are in an advent of God, 
inside which many acts of God can be confirmed. These acts of God are intended to warn us, give us justice, hope, and the reassurance that we have not been abandoned. These are days of great joy for some and great sorrow and turbulence for others. These are days where the providence of the Holy Spirit makes manifest many revelations and God judges the earth. MMX Born Again, Section A13. For this reading, I will address you as you are in your current life. Though different religions exist, we are united by the same Holy Spirit and by our goodness, love, and the acceptance we have for each other. Blessed is our Holy Spirit who has no name, but who is known by many. A reading from MMX Born Again. Thus says the Holy Spirit, Who are you people that call my attention so much? You are my Orthodox Jews. You are my Orthodox Muslims. My Catholics, my Orthodox Christians, and my Sikhs. You are my Hindus, my Taoists, my Confucianists, my Buddhists my Krishnas, my Avestans, Zoroastrians, Parsi, and my Baha'ist. You are my Lutherans, my Methodists, my Presbyterians, my Episcopalians, my Mormons, my Evangelicals, my Free Evangelicals, my Angelicans, my Amish, my Mennonites, my Quakers, my Seventh-day Adventists, my Congregationalists, my Jehovah's Witnesses. You are my Baptists, my Anabaptists, my Pentecostals. You are my Protestant Jews, my Protestant Christians, my Protestant Buddhists, and my Protestant Muslims, and the angels of many religious denominations. You are the angels of heaven, who live between heaven and earth. The earth is your terrestrial paradise, and heaven is your celestial paradise. On this planet you will live, work, and be born again. Blessed is our Holy Spirit who gathers and communes with the people of each nation and with every good religion, even with the homeless. Blessed is our Holy Spirit who has no name, but who is known by many. A prayer to bless the resurrection, section A14. I pray these words bless you and teach you. I pray... They are welcome and find comfort inside your souls. As we proceed in the tribulation of God, the just and the unjust pass away. In regular life and during the judgment of God, we all suffer loss of those we love. And it is good to pray for a good resurrection. It is right to pray for a good resurrection. For all those who were loved and even them who were not, I pray to the Holy Spirit for a good resurrection, that their souls be born again, and their sins be forgiven and forgotten. Blessed is the resurrection of souls. It is right to pray for the resurrection of souls. The resurrection of souls affects all people. Blessed is the resurrection of souls by the Holy Spirit, who raises the soul to heaven, then brings it back to life. You must be born again. We live between heaven and earth, and each life we live is judged by God. The earth is our home. On it we shall live, work, and be born again. May peace be upon all people. May the Holy Spirit of God help us to move on in the absence of those who will be leaving us. I pray that today's words provide comfort and assurance to your lives. For the peace that we have around the world and for the justice that keeps it, I give thanks and praise to the Holy Spirit. It is right to give thanks and praise. <clears throat> News and Information in the World Crown, Section 815. News and Information are in a state of emergency. No complaints have come in to oppose or contest the World Crown, its judgments and the judgment of God. No complaints from Islam, any religious groups or government. No calls, visits or complaints have come in from lawyers representing any important individual which has been judged by God.
Organizations, Section A-16. The World Health Organization's emergency information portals in Spanish and English may be translated into any language in the world. Angelcraft Crown World Bank and Reserve is the official emergency service for the World Bank. Its website can be interpreted into any language in the world. Interpol, the Office of the Director of Intelligence, is managed by myself. This office handles the current information emergency. When the news and information emergency is over, we will be sure to post it here first at the World Crown, then broadcast it on the internet, television, cable, radio, and wireless services. Calendar, Section A-17. Welcome to our calendar section. I pray the Holy Spirit minister to you through the simpleness which is our calendar. July in French is Juliet, and in Spanish it is Julio, male and female. July is a great month of justice. July is a great month for justice. God the Father is prayed to in the month of July. Many Hail Marys are recited in the month of July. And naturally the Holy Spirit from which both man and woman come from is worshipped. July is a good Muslim month, a good Mormon month, and a good month for Judaism and Buddhism. May the Zoroastrians, our beloved Parsi, be blessed. May our Orthodox Christians, Catholics, Hindus, and people of all good religions be blessed this month. <clears throat> Exhortation, Section A, 18. May you be blessed in July. In the month of July, there are many good religious events and festivals to attend and some to avoid. But the Fool's Feast will be judged by God. Zodiac, Section A-19. The night sky is filled with your prayers from all your past lives. They are charted in the stars and blessed unto heaven. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, to whom we lift up our prayers high in the sky. We begin the month in the sign of Cancer and end the month in Leo. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, who brings forth bread from the earth and every fruit from its vine and all things that are good to eat. Blessed is our God who has no name, but who is known by many. Marriages, Section A20 A marriage with the Holy Spirit is a marriage of faith. It is a marriage above all marriages. In a life of faith, we endeavor always and though we may fail God in our commitment to faith, the Holy Spirit will never fail us. The Holy Spirit is like a good husband or a good wife who never gives up caring for us or loving us. Last year, we started a tradition to pray for all marriages physically from the world crown with our eyes closed not desiring to disappoint our Holy Spirit, whose love confounds the mind and is greater than all of us put together. Let each marriage be honest. Honesty is strength to any relationship. I pray that no one fail in their marriages, but in all things, remember to share your love and commitment to God with each other. I pray that the Holy Spirit strengthen you well into your old age encourage you every day of your lives and multiply your wisdom. May our precious tender Holy Spirit help you in your marriages today and every day of your lives. May you learn also to judge and correctly apply the institution of marriage in your lives and in each of your nations 
to invoke the greatest blessing from our Holy Spirit. Humans are responsible for how they bless or curse their lives, for how they shape morality, right or wrong. Flowers, section 821. Flowers make great gifts. Whether you get them free from nature or buy them, there must be feeling behind the, the, the acquiring of flowers for whatever reason. Each flower in this world has good and positive meaning. Avoid the dark definitions of, of flowers and embrace only the good. This month, we feature the cactus. Cactus are known for their great variety and their ability to retain water. Depending on their species, some have greater defenses than others. Humans must approach, must approach cactus carefully. In Mexico, the common cactus is sometimes called the nopal which is close to the spelling of the country Nepal, where cactus also grow. Nepal is known as a great food and can be cooked in many different ways. Nepal contains lots of fiber and is known to improve digestion. Nepal is also very low in saturated fat and cholesterol. It contains vitamin C, B6, thiamine, calcium, magnesium, and riboflavin, and acts on your metabolic system. Nopal is said to be an antioxidant and improves the quality of your skin. The juice that is taken from the leaves has proven to have anti-inflammatory effects. I am still into the Huntington Library Gardens because they have so much to offer. And most importantly, I'm familiar with the Huntington and have visited it. This month at the Huntington Library, there is the early bird cactus and succulent sale. The Huntington Library offers the California Garden, the Camellia Garden, the Children's Garden, the Chinese garden, a conservatory, a desert garden, an herb garden, a Japanese garden, a jungle garden, lily palms, palm garden, ranch garden, rose garden, Shakespeare garden, filled with asteraceae, a subtropical garden, garden sculptures and fountains, and a mausoleum. Let us also not forget the Versailles. At the Versailles, until October 30th, 2022, you can enjoy the musical gardens on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and the great musical waters on Saturdays and Sundays in the gardens and groves open for the occasion. A presentation of a health pass is not required to access the gardens at the Versailles. In closing, I again pray for your health and for every country. I want to encourage you to take care of your health and to breathe fresh air every day. I want to encourage you to be kind to each other and to help each other. May the prayers of those who are struggling for answers be answered by the Holy Spirit with all diligence and priority. If you are struggling in your marriage commitment, I pray my Holy Spirit give you the wisdom to decide what is best for your lives and to help you and all those affected by your marriage to find solutions to sometimes difficult problems. Where there is physical separation or divorce from marital partners, let there be no separation from the Holy Spirit who is with you always in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. My peace I give you. May the peace of the Holy Spirit of God that surpasses all understanding also be with you. May the good people be blessed and saved every day. Have a great month of July, 2022.